Mr. Chen survived, but many don't. He spent years chewing betel nut, a stimulant responsible for thousands of deaths in Taiwan. Studies suggest those who chew are 28 times more likely to develop mouth cancer than those who don't. Mr. Chen used to get through 200 a day. In the countryside, the betel nut is a good thing, like a fruit. People would treat each other to it. It wasn't considered to be bad. Betel nut being a good thing is an image the government wants to change. There are subsidies to encourage farmers to switch to other crops such as oilseed camellia, a source of cooking oil. But not all are ready to make the change. For the older farmers, you can't harvest the oiled seed camellia until after five years, so it's a heavier burden. Cracking the problem is proving hard. In rural areas, growing, harvesting and chewing the nut is ingrained in society. And overall, around 2 million Taiwanese, 10 percent of the island's population, are betel chewers. In some of Taiwan's social activities or Aboriginal rituals, they're tied to the betel nut. How do we tell people that they can keep their culture? You don't have to change your culture, but don't eat the betel nut. You have to communicate with society. At the heart of the issue is education. Many people here are just unaware of the dangers posed by the unassuming looking nut. Mouth cancers can take up to 20 years to develop, meaning some don't seek treatment until it's too late.